Good morning, everyone. Here is today's sunshine from Matthew chapter 19, verses 16 through 22. And behold, a man came up to him, saying, Teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? And he said to him, Why do you ask me about what is good? There is only one who is good. If you would enter eternal life, keep the commandments. He said to him, Which ones? And Jesus said, You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, honor your father and mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, All these I have kept, what do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you would be perfect, go, sell what you possess and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come, follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Pastor Nelson will now share how Jesus helps. Today is election day. If I've heard it once, I've heard it dozens of times. The most, this is the most important election in our lifetime. But I would disagree. The most important election of your lifetime is who do you elect to be number one in your life? In our Bible reading, the rich man elected that his wealth, his money, his possessions would be number one. And even after being challenged by Jesus, he refused to change his vote. And this is a very popular vote. That money or possessions is number one in people's lives. But others have elected other things. Family, that's the most important thing in my life. Career, my job is the most important thing in my life. Or drugs, alcohol, they're the most important thing in my life. And on and on the list could go. But others have elected God as the most important in their life. The only reason they can do that is that God has elected us to be the most important, even over his only begotten son, whom he loved. He chose to give his son to death for us, for our bad electing, election choices. Jesus died so that we could be forgiven. He elected us to be his child his forgiven child, his beloved child, now and forever. What a great election God has conducted. How do you respond to God's election? Do you elect him to be number one in your life? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks. We live in a free country where we can have elections for our leaders. And we ask your blessing upon our country and the election here today. But even more, Lord, we ask your blessing upon our election for a lifetime. Who will be number one in our life? And we are thankful you elected to give your son on our behalf. In his holy name, amen. Now may God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit keep you in his sunshine this day. Amen.